Hello Aries, what's going on? I, uh, I hope you're doing really well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a reading for I guess April but you know timeless reading. Uh, someone here looks to be guarding their heart, it could be you or it could be your person. I'm going to get into that in a minute but um, you are so welcome Aries, thank you so much for coming to check out the video. I appreciate it so much. Um, hopefully the reading will resonate with you. Yeah, see someone's getting ready to give you their heart or this could be you. You see how the little dude here is like clinging on to his pentacle for dear life and he's like nah. But someone is getting ready to come in and give you their heart or make you that offer. Did that camera get out of focus? Why did we <clears throat> play this game, camera? Are you focused now? Yeah. Yeah, have you focused? Yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully the reading will resonate with you, Aries, and you'll enjoy it. And if that is the case, and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I'd appreciate that so much. All right, um, who's coming towards Aries? Page of Swords. So it kind of looks like someone might be leaving something behind. I would say you've been waiting for this person for a while. Page of Swords is Aquarius energy. Doesn't have to be an Aquarius. You also have the Emperor. This person's leaving something. <clears throat> um, they're, they cut a very impressive figure, this person. The Emperor, like someone very loyal. Some are very trustworthy, some are very organized and disciplined. They've probably had a, you know, they've been through stuff in life. Um, usually very successful and well respected. They're an overthinker though. Whoever this person is, is a massive overthinker. They're, they're leaving something that was not their wish fulfillment behind. Yeah, something's ending. They're leaving something. Something that was not fulfilling them. You've been waiting though with this hanged man and you have, look at that, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They might be walking away from a marriage or they are leaving something. You have all the cards. Oh, shut up, phone. Why does it, why do you wait? It's just drivel as well. Like why is the energy company texting me? Do you know what I mean? Like, wh why, why have you decided that you're my friend and you can send me text messages? Get out of here. <sighs> um, yeah, you have so many movement cards here. Like, this person's done with something. Um, they're a little bit of a wounded warrior, this person. Aries, okay, you're probably going to have to be patient with them. And, you know, if that's not for you, then don't, don't mess with this person, I would say. Because there's always someone in the comments that's like, I don't want that. Like someone who's a wounded warrior, why would I want that? Um, because not everybody's perfect. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, but I would say they've, they've been through something. Because see with the Six of Swords here, obviously the preceding card to that is the Five of Swords, which can indicate like not being in a great space mentally. So that could be that they were with someone who kind of didn't, you know, do good things for them mentally, I would say. The two of Wands. And the Three of Wands. All right, this person's been thinking about taking action for a long time and they're finally about to do it or they've done it. Okay. I think it was a big deal for them to do this. They're coming back towards you. It's obviously someone you've been in separation with, like you met this person before, they weren't available, something like this. Um, I think you've waited a long time for this person, that was, that's what keeps coming through, but they're saying 
the wait is over. I keep seeing these cards in reverse. I see the devil in reverse. I see the temperance in reverse. I see the seven of pentacles in reverse. Like, you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, but the wait is a it's about to end, okay? This person's making a decision because they've gotten out of their head is what I see. Okay, what's currently going on with this person? but it's in reverse false person okay they've been dealing with someone who's like this is I feel who they've been walking away from this false person like someone who um, you know they may have kind of misrepresented themselves when they like that's how they got your person because your person's a solid dude <laughs> or a solid chick, you know, um, with the emperor here. So it's like they were kind of misled into this, like someone misrepresented themselves. Easily done, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, there's been a decision here. I think they're going to lose money on this is what I want to say because you have sudden wealth in reverse. I think they're about to lose money here. Um, they've been feeling very imprisoned by this relationship that they've been in. Yeah, they're going to lose the house, I think. I think that's why they haven't come towards you before, Aries. Because they might have been looking for a way, because this person is not cool, like whoever they're with, false person, you know, it's it's not been fun for your person. Poverty, you ha yeah. But I think the, the thing is, like, they have property or money or something tied up with this person. So when they leave, or they may have already left, I'm sorry, I can't narrow that down for you anymore, but, um, you know, when they leave or when they left, they they lost money, okay. They might have lost the house. This may be who like this. I kind of feel like this is what's prevented them from coming forward sooner. Because the thing is, with sudden wealth in reverse, they might have had quite a lot to lose. You know what I mean? Tell me more about this uh, sudden wealth in reverse. Yeah, despair. Because it's like, oh, I really want to leave, like, I don't want to be here. Yeah, they're wealthy. Who are you? Who is this? <laughs> Who are you messing with, Aries? Um, I was going to say a bad word, but I can't say that because of the, the YouTube police. Um, yeah, like this person, oh, this is a divorce. This person that you're, you're messing with here, <laughs> this person that's coming into your life, they got money, okay, and they're, I think they're, they've been married, or it's like they're tied up with this person financially in some way, and leaving them is going to cost them a lot of dinero, alright? And with the despair card, they're like, oh my god, <laughs> like this person's going to take me for everything, oh my god, I'm going to lose everything, but I get, I mean, that's the price you pay, right? Sometimes we have to pay a high price to get toxic people out of our lives. And at the end of the day, you know, money can be replaced. Houses can be replaced. Like, but the time that you waste with, like, toxic people in your life is, you can never replace that, you know? So I think that's kind of what's won out here. They're just like, you know what, I don't care anymore. I don't care. Like, I want to be with Aries. I don't care about the money. Like, they're gutted. I think that they've lost the money because I think they probably want to give it to you is the thing. But you know, you have the courthouse here, yeah. They know you're waiting as well, I think. Oh. Oh. This person's um 
they you're obviously not thinking this you know because i know like aries don't really care about this stuff i mean you know like you have expectations so there's like a woman waiting you have great fortune and you have coffins so they might be thinking i think they're thinking you're going to be disappointed that they you don't have they don't have money to give you right because maybe they've been dealing with someone that's very money hungry and they've got it stuck in their head that they're like i'm only worth what i can give to people you know so it's like they know that you're waiting for them i think um but they're gutted that they're not going to have all this money to give you <laughs> right which like i don't know who cares right you know bill gates has a lot of money but you wouldn't want to marry him right and you have courthouse and you have poverty so i think once they divorce this person they're gonna lose money okay or that's the fear for sure anyway um but they're yeah this is someone you already know and I, listen i think it's gonna happen kind of suddenly if this is gonna happen fast so this person might kind of show up in your life again quite suddenly and be like look i've I, I left them. You have will be together soon. So even if this hasn't happened yet, this is something that's going to happen, okay? Um, if you stay on the same timeline that you're in, you know, if you decide that you don't want this person, um, maybe this won't happen, but you know, yeah, it's like, I don't know, they're saving up money, but like if you stay, you know, if you want this person, then this will happen, okay? Um, is what I'm trying to say. So just stay on the same, like if you want this person in your life, just stay on the same track that you're on now, okay? Because if it hasn't happened yet, it's, ha it's about to happen. Um, saving up money, so I don't know if th they've been like trying to squirrel money away from this person or something. Or like they lost a lot of money and now they're trying to get it back before they come in. That's probably more what it is, right? Any messages from this person for Aries? Dealing with my issues. So, yeah, they're dealing with, this is what they're dealing with now. I feel like they're, they're probably going through it now, in all honesty. I think this, because it's, it's chaos. Like the way that, even the way that I've laid out the cards is chaotic. So I feel like they're going through a lot of upheaval and there's a lot of chaos. They are a little suspicious of you, okay? But I think it's because of what they've been dealing with. Let me love you. So they might kind of have their walls up a little bit. Um, or that could be you as well. Any messages from this person? Yeah, there's someone else. Any messages from this person for Aries? I see marriage and children with you. Why? <laughs> why does it always, why? What does that say? Oh, I'm gonna have to go get it. God damn it. Oh, let yourself be loved again. So I kind of feel like maybe you were healing from a past uh, relationship that was bad as well. So there's been like a kind of delay in this connection because you've been healing, but also this person has had to learn their lessons with this person, you know? And one of those lessons might be, you know, you ha you're going to have to walk away from the money or something like that to, to get your freedom. Like, what do you value more? Like, the money that you've tied up with this person or your happiness? <laughs> like, they've definitely been hurt in the past with whoever they've been dealing with, okay? They're a bit of a wounded warrior. Saving up money, there it is again. So there's, there's, yeah, and look, you have money, legal problems here, so there's something, this is, this is someone newer, okay, like it's not an ex, this is someone like, you've not dated this person yet, so it's like you met each other, but you, they were in a connection, I think, and maybe you were healing. I am going to come back to those cards. I just wanted a couple of extra ones from this. See if we can pin this down anymore. Oh, 
they just want to be with you. There's, I think, a lot of chaos going on for them right now. Or they're worried about the chaos. Let's see. They're, look, you have the five of wands and the fool. See how happy this little woman is here? And the five of wands is like about chaos and drama. They might have been involved with someone that was all chaos and drama and they're like super happy to be free of it. this person right now <clears throat> with the four of cups okay what's going on with this person right now Ten of Pentacles. The Lovers. What's going on with this person right now? Clarify this um, Four of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, just give me a second here. Cl clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups, but it's in reverse. And clarify the lovers. Yeah, see, they're coming back towards you. They know that you're the one they're meant to be with. Because um, I see the Eight of Cups here, right? But it's in reverse. So they're walking towards this lovers, which is you, right? The lovers is you, their soulmate, the one they're meant to be with. Um, and you have this Ten of Pentacles with the Two of Cups in reverse. So they're in a relationship with someone who they know they're not meant to be with. Like they know that they're not, like they know they're meant to be with you. They know that this person is not their soulmate. I think whoever they're with, you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here. So they're like, they, they don't wanna be where they are. The person that they're with is very money hungry. They're very superficial, they're very shallow. Um, it's all about, you know, appearances and it's, it's like money. I feel strongly with this person. They're strongly coming through as an emperor, your person though. So it's like, this is the thing, right? The emperor energy is like very strong, very responsible, very kind of um, diligent, all this kind of thing. And it, it often means that they end up shouldering a lot of responsibility. So it's the type of energy that attracts leeches, <laughs> basically, I don't know how else to say it. Because I feel like they're with someone that's kind of a leech, you know, and they're, they're kind of a smug, arrogant little SOB as well, whoever they're with. Like, they're not a fun energy. I think they're also quite scary, whoever they're dealing with. You know, they've got kind of an attitude. But see, this is you here, right? You see, you're coming in with... I get the camera to focus. Why must we, why camera? Yeah, there we go. You see how there's you with your, your cup, right? All innocent and then there's your person here with these three cups, which is also often indicative of a third party. So it's like you've come in with your cup of love, page of cups type energy. You're very sweet, innocent, loving, you know, pure love. And you're like, hey, you want my cup of love? And your person's like, shit. <laughs> I'm in this other relationship with this monster. I don't wanna be here. I think they're still in the connection, okay? I think they're getting ready, yeah. You have the Page of Swords here. You see how suddenly that's all happening, right? It's happening so suddenly that he's dropped his book bag, right? Because, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> I think you're dealing with someone that has a bit of a blocked throat chakra which came up for Virgo recently recently so you could be dealing with a Virgo or Pisces maybe um what was I saying god damn it yeah the page of swords the page of swords is like an event that happens quite suddenly but it happens after a delay so it's like it's been delayed and delayed and delayed. This is a little message from Spirit telling you it is coming, 
Okay, look, you have the Ten of Swords here. They're gonna leave this person. Okay. They're gonna leave. It might not be a great ending <laughs> because I don't think the person that they're with wants them to leave, right? Because they're like leechy moochy energy. So it's like, well, I'll tell you what though, it's loveless. <clears throat> this thing that they're involved in is loveless. Um, the Ten of Swords again, they're about to leave, okay? This is like a little, you know what else? I have been feeling nervous the whole time I've sat down to do this reading. I feel like this person is preparing to do something, okay? Um, they're like preparing to leave this person. But yeah, the other per, like whoever this Queen of Pentacles is that they're with, they're not gonna wanna let them go. So I think it's kind of, once they decide, like, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, things might kick off, right? Clarify this lover's card. That's what I want to say, though. Um, the, they, they've had no, there's no question in this person's mind. I feel like this wanted to come, this message wanted to come through because they want you to know maybe you've been overthinking this and being like, oh my god, they don't care, like, screw you. They, they, the lovers, like, this person feels very, very strongly <laughs> that they're supposed to be with you, you know? They know that this person that they're with, two of cups in reverse, is not their soulmate. They feel strongly that you are that they should be with you. The pull to be with you is very strong, but it's some, It's I think it's the money. You know, it's like, but this person's gonna take me for everything. And there's probably also, because the emperor is like a very honorable person, you know, even if this person that they're with is like mean to them and they just take all their stuff, you know, and it's loveless, they still have this righteous energy, you know, this righteous, honorable energy. Clarify the lovers. This might be a longer reading, Aries, because I'm just going to keep going. You can pause it, right? This person has definitely been learning lessons. <laughs> and you know what? It's been some harsh lessons. Uh, clarify the lovers. There's definitely a decision to end this coming. Oh, they're kind of dreading it. I can feel it right in the pit of my stomach. They're dreading it. They are dreading this. They're actually quite scared of this person. And you know what? <clears throat> I can actually see why. They're quite like hard faced, this person that they're with. You have the Ace of Swords here and you have the Five of Swords in reverse. Um, they're getting past this um, energy of not knowing what to do, not knowing which way forward, because the thing is, they might have been dealing with like um, someone that gaslights them or a narcissist or something like that, which there is always an element of confusion with that. If you wanna know more about gaslighting, I just did a video on it on my other channel, How to Train Your Caterpillar. The link is in the description box, feel free to check it out if you want, but there's definitely a, a breakthrough mentally here that needed to happen to move this along. I also feel like it's kind of connected to their childhood in some way. Like this person's um, carrying out like repeating childhood patterns. Um, I also, yeah, I keep seeing this page of swords. Listen, just expect something to happen suddenly, all right? You have the tower. Clarify the lovers for me, please. Look, there's the Ten of Swords again. I feel like that's actually what wanted to come out. Clarify the lovers. Sorry, Aries, my camera cut out. Clarify the lovers. Okay, you have the Seven of Swords. The Queen of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Wands. So this person has been dealing with a karmic <laughs> for sure. Like with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Swords, these are both of my cards of karmic energy. Um, the Seven of Swords is about learning karmic lessons. 
and the queen of swords is a karmic okay so this person has been dealing with a karmic someone that was designed to teach them lessons maybe they had some leftover past life stuff from this person or something you just don't know it could be anything right but um you're the one you know what that's so funny whose reading was it was it gemini or was it pisces it was pisces it had that's so funny it had the queen of swords in another deck not not even this deck <laughs> it had the queen of swords and um the queen of wands come out together like like pisces was choosing between them or something so you might very well be dealing with a pisces um yeah they've been dealing with this queen of swords energy like i said i don't think they're dealing with someone very nice like queen of swords is very bitchy you know in her negative form like bitchy and withholding of love and cold and controlling and critical i think that's what they've been dealing with so it's, it's kind of taken them a while to break through the abuse and the mental prison this person's kept them in because there's you that's who they want to go towards you the warm you know personable fiery loving popular beautiful like sexy <laughs> they just love you they just love your energy they love you um clarify this page of swords please definitely taking a really really long time and then it's gonna happen suddenly yep page of swords king of swords okay there's there's gonna be like a a mental breakthrough with this person all right i think they're still with them i have to say aries i think they might still be with them but the king of swords talks about getting emotions out of the way and doing what needs to be done okay that's further backed up by the queen of cups in reverse which is like you know the queen of cups can be like being very emotional being very soft and compassionate which i think is a problem for this person like i think they've put up with too much crap from this person from their past like they're too ni too nice right which unfortunately is a thing because it attracts these like monsters these leechy moochy like you know me 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 kind of energies and the thing is, it's not just that they're a leech, it's like they're mean to them, I think, with the Queen of Swords, like they're mean, they're withholding of love. They've just said your person is starved for love. Like this person coming towards you now is starved of love and affection. Um, and you have the Two of Pentacles, like that's what's making this decision. There's like a, like a snap decision with this person to, to leave. Okay, then what happens after that? Yeah, they have everything they need. They learned their lessons. Their lesson was self-worth. The magician and the nine of pentacles. This person was learning self-worth. What's gonna happen after they leave? Temperance, reconciliation. Or they might take a little bit of time out. Let's see. What happens after they leave? What happens after they leave? The world. A new cycle is going to begin. What happens after they leave? Yeah, then they're going to be messaging you, okay? Um, <laughs> you know, it's funny. You have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Page of Pentacles. So it, they know that you... This is just a random by-the-by message. Because I think you've just been sitting pretty. Or this is how they think of you anyway, okay? Like, they don't need to know if this is not the case, okay? They don't need to know. <laughs> like, they think of you as, like, very independent. And you're just kind of... I don't 
know, you might be kind of waiting for them, but you're just chilling, like you're not stressed and stuff. Um, Nine of Pentacles, like you've been working on your money, you're looking good, you're independent, not settling for anyone. They're very aware that you don't need their pentacle that they're going to come and offer you, but they're going to give it to you anyway, because then you have the Ten of Pentacles, right? Then you're in a committed relationship with this person. Um, definitely, I would say this person's a little shy, a little on the shyer side. Okay, and then obviously once you've made this, you know, once they've um, made you this offer, then it's up to you, I guess, where it goes from there. But, um, yeah, I want to see what this offer is going to be. Yeah, look, Queen of Wands, they, they're smitten with your energy, being with you is so electric, just can't get enough. What is this page of pentacles? Like what's the offer? Or what are they gonna say? Knight of Wands, I will take you to places you've never been before. They, um, <laughs> this is someone, I'm laughing because they're cute. This is someone who's like quite shy. Um, it's taking them a while to it's gonna it's gonna take them a while to pluck up the courage to message you like they've been trying to to be bold and brave and pluck up the courage uh, i just wanted to say that just came to me as well this could be stuff that's already happened i know i keep saying i think they're still in the relationship but for some of you this might have already happened and they're now coming for me. <laughs> um, they're now like plucking up the courage to message you. Okay, Spirit just wanted to say that. So, um, clarify this page of pentacles. What's this person going to say when they come in? King of Cups, you're my king, ruler of my heart. You have my heart, Aries. Um, they're also going to be very loving, very supportive. The Magician, with you I have everything I need. The Hierophant, I promise to be faithful now and forever. You're my wish come- oh my god, there's two cards here of you being their wish come true. The star and the nine of cups. You are my wish come true. You satisfy me emotionally, mentally, and physically. You have everything this person wants, okay? So I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. I kind of feel like you're going to hear from them after they've ended it, okay? Okay, and they might take a little while with the temperance, like a couple of weeks or something or a month, I don't know, a day to recover and then they're going to message you. This could be an earth sign, which is why they're kind of slow, alright? Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I know that's frustrating for you because you're a fire sign, but it's just who they are. They're just going to move slower than you. Who's this person coming towards Aries? Brown eyes. Huggable as well. Kind, very kind person. Who's this person uh, coming towards Aries? Total babe. Aww. Who's this person coming towards Aries? Best friend. They're going to feel like a best friend. It's going to feel like you're with your best friend. Except from all the, you know, the fun stuff. <laughs> um, I mean, best friends are fun, but you know what I'm trying to say, like the bedroom stuff. Um, you have boss energy, so they could be a boss. You know, see with the emperor coming up twice, I would say they probably are, like boss type energy. What else about this person? Very calm. Very calming energy. Neat appearance. There's Pisces as well. You might want to check out the Pisces reading because I'm pretty sure the last one that I just did was about them leaving someone. So, kind of fits. Uh, what else about this person comes towards Aries? Large and in charge. There's more about them being in charge. 
they could also be physically very big you know particularly if it's a guy like big upper body kind of thing dark hair so dark hair brown eyes light hair so they might have like chestnut hair you know like not super dark hair but like more like i don't know medium medium brown hair maybe do you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> okay a couple of things just flipped out there i saw kindred soul um this person's a fox okay i saw kindred soul which i can't find it now but i really think you're just like the same you know you just it feels like you belong together you're just like two little peas in a pod <laughs> and they're they might be a virgo you have a gorgeous virgo which do you know what virgos are usually gorgeous and they're usually very humble as well um i find like virgos are always that kind of lovely humble energy And let's get one more. Do you know what? This person's gorgeous. You have total babe and you have gorgeous. Like, they're spot on. Um, anything else about this person coming towards Aries? Serious. So, oh, that I don't even know where that came from. And you have very wise here as well. This, they're, they're an overthinker. For sure. Um, they're a very serious energy, so I want to say that they take their relationships very seriously. Um, which is why, even though they don't want to be where they are, it's important to them <sighs> to try and like be a good person and do their best. It's kind of what I'm seeing, and you have very wise, but they do overthink massively. They overthink everything. And they're, they're an animal lover as well. Um, very caring there is look kindred souls I really think honestly you guys are just like two little peas in a pod and I know this reading is like super long but screw it we got this far I'm just going to pull some doggy cards reliable that is just the emperor all over they're just this really um, like calm reliable salt of the earth kind of I really honestly just think they've been taken advantage of by this person. <sighs> okay, what else? What else about this person coming towards Aries? I'm just going to get like a few of these. Gentle. St. Bernard. Um, I always feel like with St. Bernard, they might be something of a gentle giant because St. Bernards are huge, you know, and they have like a very healing energy as well. Um, because they're the ones that they always send into the mountains with the brandy, right? <laughs> and you have boss. So this person might be, sorry, I'm going back to the, the St. Bernard, like they might be a very healing energy for you. Um, and you have boss, they definitely, there's some kind of boss, they may even have been your boss. Let's get two more. This reading is going to be like 45 minutes long. Um, get two more. Happy? Oh, that's nice. They're a happy kind of energy. Um, and that was fun. Came out with that one as well. So they're going to be fun too. Yeah, look, fun came back out. That's funny. Spirit's like, did we stutter, biatch? <laughs> what are you doing questioning me? Respect my authority. And you have protective at the bottom of the deck, so I think they're gonna be quite protective of you. Not that you need a, not that you need protective Aries. <laughs> you know what, actually, you should definitely check out the Pisces reading because I'm re just remembering now having a flashback. Um like Aries came up in the Pisces reading, and I was saying how like Aries will protect you, because like you guys are like fiercely protective of your loved ones you know but they're going to try and protect you too so you're very protective of each other so i will leave your uh super long reading there aries <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching um don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that i'd appreciate it very much and as always i wish you many blessings love and light take care